Hello, good morning, dear students. I am Vijay Swatale, assistant professor in Red Section Samsar, Swami Sajan Bharti College of Education, Sri Rampur, District and Mandala. Today we are going to learn about audio visual aids. Let's focus on what are the uses of these audio visual aids and what are different audio visual aids. Dear student, as you know that technology has played an important role in the field of education so that everything has undergone a change due to the importance of technology. And as far as English language teachers are concerned, they must use different types of teaching aids in their teaching and learning. As you know that we learn if there are five organic uh, senses, five senses are there and we do learn one person through test. Means five different senses are there, these are here. Uh, ear means for hearing, the nose for smelling, then tongue for taste, eyes for see or, or then skin for touch. Means with the help of these four doors of knowledge, we can say that these are the doors of knowledge and in this way on the right side of me there is a TV site, then different modern audiovisual aids are displayed on the slides. And how do we learn? We learn one person through taste. After that, three person through smell, eleven person through hearing, and eighty-three person through sight. In this one means there is more chance of learning with the help of our eyes so that we can gain 83% of knowledge so that I hear, I forget, I see, I remember and I do, I understand means whenever we, someone is there if he is hearing then after that or sometimes he will forget it Whenever he sees, after a long time he will remember it and whenever someone will do any action, definitely he will understand each and everything. So that multi-sensory approach that is audiovisual aids are important in learning of language. Then let's focus on the meanings given by Kothari Education Commission. Uh, in 1964-66 in which the supply of teaching aids to every school is essential for the improvement of the quality of teaching. It should indeed bring up a time educational revolution in the country. Means in Kothari Commission, Kothari Education Commission believes that there will be quality of education or there are great chances of improving quality because when we will use or we will supply teaching aids to every school. So that by learning with teaching aids plays an important role in our life so that we can gain the knowledge of every subject. And in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, he says, True education of the intellect can only come to a proper exercise and training of bodily organs that are hand, feet, eyes, ears and nose. Means Mahatma Gandhi who believed in five sensory organs where he believes in exercise and training of bodily organs only by only then there will be a great learning of any language, any subject. So that what are the needs and importance of 
these ones see why should we use audio visual aids in our day to day teaching first one to create interest in teaching learning of english language means in many schools many students are there they really don't like to study english language because it is difficult to learn and so that the teachers are not using well structured language and self developed models or teaching aids in the class why should we use why there is need of using teaching aids or audiovisual aids in the classes because it creates interest in teaching and learning of english language so that it must be the duty of teacher he or she must use or usual aids in learning of language after that to make teaching learning more effective and realistic if you want to teach effectively in the class and if you want to give uh, give an experience is based on reality now realistic situation only then you have to use such type of teaching aids or audio visual aids after that to save ener energy to give extra examples in teaching sometimes there is no need to explain more and more about content when teacher uses such type of audio visual aids in the class and it is also believed that if there is a uh, gaining of knowledge to say it is of 83% so that we should or teacher educators or student teachers they must follow or they should save their energy why because in day to day learn teaching and learning we need to take hard work and sometimes we face face heterogeneous group of student so that you should be well versed in using of these audio visual aids after that fourth one that teacher can teach lessons more effective and also student enjoys the learning teaching must be effective and learning must be enjoyable so that means if you are active in your class then all your students will be definitely active and if you are more active but if you are not giving any chance if you are not using any audio visual aids then your students will remain passive forever because such chances are not given to them by their teachers after that a learning through computer is enjoyable activity right now means computers are there and with the help of these computers we can ask students to go over there and operate it effectively make good use of it and we should make them understand the use of computers so that uh, with the help of such multimedia student will definitely improve themselves after that teaching aids give vividness to learning situation vividness means when you are about to give them an example of uh, how do we say example of wind example of god example of monster then these two things or three things are not seen or easily seen but you may give them example with the help of showing different type of video clips then a uh, computer and some videos or you may use lcd lcd projector because there is clarity after that teaching aids motivate the student arouse his feeling of curiosity yes we should uh, arouse the curiosity of students what will what will happen next and as a teacher or as a student teacher you have to motivate the your students because learning in learning there should be always curiosity when there will be curiosity then definitely then definitely there will be learning at one teaching aids clear and abstract idea 
concrete and thus help in making learning more effective so that student can uh, learn about what is abstract things and what are concrete things so that we need to have uh, involve all the students of your classes in learning with the help of audio visual aids then what happens here student get direct experience of learning and teaching provide all types of study for all type of learner means many learners are there and these teaching aids or audio visual uh, aids they really help to learn or uh, it saves our time then sometimes there is uh, reduction in the burden of uh, burden of teacher then many sources of readings are available and sometimes we do have this type of problem that students are not concentrating because if there is one way teaching if the if teacher doesn't use such type of audio aids then they there will be great chances of great chances of not learning or students will never pay proper attention towards your teaching so that for making proper concentration you need to add such type of audio visual aids in your learning then create language learning natural so that the language learning should be natural one in this picture what happens all students are there and they are given freedom means the in this picture students are getting personal experience of painting personal experience of playing musical instruments and here students are they are really enjoying their work means in the in the classes with the help of these audio visual aids or teaching aids your class should be alive and it it is your duty to make all your students more active in teaching and learning then here are some principles of selection the level of standard we have to see the level of the standard because means you are going to teach all the students from class 6 to standard 12 so that as per their level as per their learning style you need to use these things then scientific approach should be there linking of teaching gates when and where we have to use these teaching gates okay means after teaching particular para after uh, explaining particular poem so that in particular event we need to uh, use such type of audio visual lights then proper selection must be there means as per their level what learning experience should i give to my students it must be so it must be selected properly and after that teaching gates should be and made what do you need you are going to show in the class should be and made see in this feature we will focus on there are types of audio visual aids and there are three types of audio visual aids first one is audio audio aids second one visual aids and third one audio visual in this audio aids audio related to hearing or listening intentional listening audio aids in these ones these are the different means radio tape recorder gramophone lingua phone and headphone cd language laboratories these are related to the listening or hearing only when we move towards visual aids in these visual aids what comes in visual aids see these are the things charts or chart then pictures of actual model flannel board textbook flash card slide and film strip epidiscope blackboard means whatever 
appeals to our eyes. Okay, these are visual aids, and after that, there are audiovisual aids. Means we can get directly experience of listening and visualizing. When there is audio and visual, there is LCD projector. Films are there. Virtual classroom, television, multimedia channel, and computer. See in this picture over, you can see such things which are related to audio aids, then visual aids, and then audio visual aids. First one, we have to focus on audio aids. First one is that is radio. Means this is a radio. Everyone knows about this instrument. Why this is significant? Because radio is significant in teaching of English language. There are many different radio channels. BBC News are there. BBC Channel is there. Then Oxford on Learning is there. And many more FM channels are there, or they are directly related to education one, so that it, this plays an important role in learning of English language. Then it presents great spoken English. Means whatever news do we, we do listen to this radio say, we can develop our correct pronunciation. Then different talks are there different pitches are there and different games are there we can directly listen the commentary of any game any sport because it is always given in english language or i'm not saying that only english language but other languages also but as far as english language is concerned or you are the student teacher and you have to make good use of such instrument in your class then you have to make all students habitual of our listening of radio after that provide listening practice some sort somewhere you have to give proper space for listening the radio and after listening radio students will definitely learn about various pronunciation or various types of pronunciation the english language spoken in different areas in various parts of different countries and they will definitely differentiate between the language spoken between uh, spoken in, in uh, india or in england it brings subject expert and lecture in classroom then uh, it helps students in implement pronunciation. This instrument really helps to develop the pronunciation of English language. And it provides classroom instruction for the development of students and it provides general knowledge for the student. Means one instrument is very useful for developing ourselves. Sometimes it is the source of knowledge and it should be the time activity and definitely we have to use such instrument in our teaching and learning next one is that that is tape recorder okay these are the cassettes okay and the uh, here is the tape recorder and just we have to insert any cassette and we have to play it or we have to record our voice why tape recorder is useful in uh, learning c useful in providing listening pleasure and practice means you may record different types of poems you may record some paragraphs you may record some dialogues you may record some grammatical rules and you may ask all your students to listen such tapes to improve your or uh, improve your english language then flexibility in use means this instrument is carried 
at every fair and it's so a easier one and you may play it anytime anywhere with your students or outside the class also when there are different trips or are there educational tools are there you may use for the sake of learning english language and these tips are also used for correct pronunciation and intonation pattern means for learning of english language first of all the pronunciation must be correct in sense and there must be frequent use of intonation pattern in learning of english language then it provides good model of imitation means if there are different types are there you may record your voice and after that you may replay it and definitely you will listen your own voice or sound and you may understand that on this point or at this time i have committed mistakes in speaking then pronunciation it can be recorded and played when the proper situation demands as far as teaching of drama teaching of poetry then dramatization then role play after that on the basis of student on the basis of these things student can learn more effectively and uh, the schools can develop a cassette library for teaching english mean it is the duty of every english teacher he has to develop cassettes and uh, he has to submit all the recorded cassettes to the library and according to different class different classes or standard wise you may keep the record of this and you may ask student to make good use of these cassettes in learning of english language and these cassettes or tape recorder is useful in developing poem speaking learning spelling of the words and we can drills to the student many different poems can be uh not taught to the students and so particular practice of paragraph or particular paragraph can be definitely drilled with the help of this tape recorder third one is the gramophone lingophone and headphone see this is old version this is known as gramophone and this is lingophone and this is headphone and this is language lab see in this language lab these mics the headphones are used or these uh, sets of lingophone are used the lingophone assist in learning of english sounds in this lingophone particular sets of cassettes are there for developing your listening speaking reading and writing all the four fundamental skills can be enriched with the help of this lingophone just to help you select any cassette and you have to insert over here and you have to <coughs> have the headphone and with the help of this uh, this headphone you may listen many cassettes or there is another facility to you that you may record your voice you are ready and you may uh, repeatedly listen it again and again then you need cheaper than other audio aids and such lingua phones headphones are used to teach grammatical structure poetry and the uses after that the headphones can solve the problem of dealing with individual students if the crowd <coughs> crowded class is there and your voice is not uh hearable then you may use such type of mic in the class or you may use such type of headphones then special events can be recorded successfully for development of 
students. Means you may record the voice of your students or whatever whatever events are celebrated in the classes or at your school can be recorded successfully for the development of students. And fourth one is CD. CD means compact disc. We right now we call it CD compact disc and this one is DVD. DVD means digital video disc. And after that, right now these series are used that is Blu-ray. In this Blu-ray, uh, Blu-ray, more number of data can be directly saved. So while these series are useful, these series are useful for better understanding of pronunciation, vocabulary, spelling, speech of experts. So that whatever speech of experts are speeches of experts are there, they can be directly saved in such series. Such series are directly available in the markets and educational data is already stored over there. You may get the series of vocabulary, then pronunciation, then Oxford University. If you purchase any Oxford University, uh, Oxford Dictionary, Cambridge Dictionary, along with such dictionary, they give you a CD. And in this CD, there is a lot of practice of pronunciation is given, different vocabulary is given, pronunciation style is there. Then teachers can develop students' poem. If you want to record the student student's poem, you may record it or you may play these means in the classes. See, fifth one is language laboratory. For learning of English language, language laboratory plays an important role for develop, developing the skills of students and these skills are directly related to the language. In this one, in this language laboratory, you may learn British English, you may learn American English or you may learn pronunciation, phonemes, then transcription and intonation pattern directly by practicing such software and in the language laboratory there is software related to phonetics, software related to your English language and student can develop the foreign language with the help of language laboratory. As far as Indian students are concerned, there are different styles and there is always influence of dialect, dialect while speaking of English language. So that if you want to learn, if you want to speak English as a native speakers, then you must follow or you must use or you must visit language laboratory. And right now language laboratories are the part of part and parcel of college and when there, there are departments of languages in such departments or in English department, language laboratory is already over there. So that as per the batch wise, you have to use or you have to ask student to be the part of this language laboratory and you have to bring all your student for getting such type of experience, such type of direct experience. It's your, it is your duty to make them understand the use of this language laboratory. Because in this language lab laboratory, you may learn basic grammar, then listening, speaking, reading and writing means these four fundamental skills, as well as phonetics. It deals with the science of sounds. After that, it helps you to enrich your vocabulary. And after that, there are some soft skills and life skills. Means these things are directly taught to the students in the language laboratory so that you have to make all students habitual 
in using of language lab effectively for learning of English language. Okay. Second aid, so the type of aids that is visual aids. In these visual aids, first one is the charts. Dear students, these charts may be familiar to you. And as far as students' learning level of concern, these charts are used in the classes because it appeals to your sight. And this is chart or charts are known as visual aids. In this chart, you may prepare chart of vocabulary, grammar, then stories, sentence structure. Means these can be directly taught to the students by using such type of charts. And teacher has to make good use of the charts in the classes. So that you may depict any poem, any idea with the help of using charts in your uh, teaching and learning. And so that you may ask your student to prepare such charts or teacher can uh, prepare himself or herself a better chart for better learning. And preparing such charts uh, is so easy task and through such charts students can develop their story orally or in written form because observation skills observation skill is needed over here and <coughs> why charts are useful because these charts are useful in teaching paragraph or short composition as far as these colors are concerned if you are teaching at lower classes and sometimes students from rural area and those who are not much much attentive in the class you may make good use of such charts red is what is red red is apple and red color apple is also painted in red color color then orange means student can differentiate between these colors where is white there is yellow there is green one there is purple one and likewise parts of the body means at your fifth standard level or sixth standard level or seventh standard level student can really learn all these things by observing only means for his nose for his eyebrow for his ears or what are eyelids then uh, what are the different types of fingers likewise student can or student can learn the difference between animals reptiles and this one then insects Okay, means what are mammals, then what are reptiles, then what are amphibian and fish, birds and insect. Means if you draw it on particular poster or on chart or you may write over there on the chart itself. Second audiovisual aid is known as the picture. See. Picture is always meaningful. As a teacher, apart from book, you may make aware them about the picture and all pictures are meaningful one or if not possible then you have to take an assistant of your art teacher and to ask him I want such pictures on particular content or you may carry these pictures in your class for teaching of English language effectively so that if there are there are three pictures okay and if you observe the pictures the pictures definitely definitely tell us different stories if the crow is there okay then there is thirsty crow if the stories of Akbar and Birbal and this is the emperor of jungle this one you may depict, you may narrate different animals which are uh, living in jungle or 
or better understanding using of pictures is important one it is said that a picture is worth 10000 words and it is an old chinese saying so that really every teacher or every student teacher should believe in that a picture is worth 10000 words means there is no need to speak more in the class just you have to show the pictures according to your content and definitely students will keep such type of pictures in their mind and they help in developing aesthetic sense yes means it's the duty of teacher to develop the aesthetic sense of uh, students means whatever is beauty beauty of nature okay and whatever is beautiful it must be appreciated and such type of value should be inculcated among the students and if they are really watching or observing such type of uh, beautiful pictures then there will be automatic development of aesthetic sense and such pictures such pictures help them to understand to develop their observation skill and imagination power means as a teacher we have to give proper chance for observing objects observing pictures or observing surrounding means we need to develop the imagination power of your students when they will observe properly and when they will imagine themselves only then they will be learning of language or they will be learning itself only so that by showing such pictures in the classes they will differentiate between the things which are concrete in nature and which are abstract in nature okay means you have to show them such type of pictures and they are based on psychological principles of interest means everyone means when we speak about the span of attention in classes the attention of your students it remains only 15 minutes on 15 minutes means if you are delivering a lecture of 45 minutes student can concentrate only for 15 minutes so that you need to carry different pictures in the class or different models in the class to show them or to uh, maintain their span of attention then third is actual models see dear students this is scrap this is line banner this is tortoise and these are uh fishes fishes are there and these are the animals you may say different animals okay sheep is there the pig is there okay then there is horse means actual model if you show such type of actual model in your learning or in your teaching student can learn quickly and sometimes it is found that it's not easy to bring every animal in the class or it is not possible every time we have to take all students in the park in the zoo so that we need to create the models we need to prepare the models which are actually in nature and the model of dog model of horse model of camel then model of an elephant because we have to ask them or we have to make good use of such type of place and different place are available in the market but you must have such type of skill of making or preparing of model in the at your home for showing in the class fourth one is that flannel board okay 
in this one. These are the land animals and these are the water animals. Uh, in this honey board, there is a green background and this green background is made up of velvet paper and if you have the articles, if you have different features or models, you may directly paste over it. Paste over it or you may just keep over it and it will be meaningful formation. If there is zoo, then you have to cut out, you have to have the different articles. These articles can be easily made or easily prepared. Suppose if, if there is zoo, then there is elephant, then birds are there, lion is there, zebra is there, then giraffe, boy, boys, two boys and girls, then trees are there and monkeys are there, even clouds and there is sun. Means just you have to make the cutouts and you have to fix where you want to uh, paste them. And teacher can really present such visual materials currently as situation demand. Means you can form any story. And if you are there to teach them the difference between land animals and water animals, then if you have already prepared these animals, then you may directly paste or keep such type of cutouts on the final board. This final board really attracts the attention of students and students will be interested in learning of English language so that it can be used for teaching reading, story and words and some sentences are there, some oral compositions are there, means by using such type of flannel board, you have to ask students, okay, describe this flannel board, or what animals do you see on the flannel board, means student will definitely develop his oral skill of English language. Fifth one is textbook. Okay, these are the textbook of history, geography, biology, chemistry, physics, or mathematics. Or this one, these are the books which are prescribed by NC, NCERT for particular or specific standards. Means sometimes it is also said that your textbooks are also good company of the teacher and. Such textbooks, according to the curriculum and syllabus, they are always prescribed for the class and textbook have some qualities, they should have the qualities. The matter in the textbooks are always graded one and as per the students liking and interest, such textbooks are prepared, they are developed and the practical so whatever subject matter is there, uh, it is made practical one. And if the pictures, if the pictures on these books are attractive one, then student like to skimming or scan on in these books. They like to read such type of books. If there is books on uh, Rimsin, what is mean Rimsin? Rimsin is the book of Hindi language or particular standard means there is running and these animals are playing over there there is boy just he has having an umbrella with him means rimsing is there then it denotes that the book is interesting one the content is interesting one and definitely student will make good use of this content at their practical life so that in uh, in this textbook, it should be cover the objectives of teaching English. Sufficient exercise should be given and they should be well printed but not so costly. Means, books should be affordable to the students, proper exercises should be given there and objective should be fulfilled by using such type of textbooks.
See, Medstone is the flash car. You, you may see these are the flash cars, mean the cars made up of papers and over these papers different pictures are there and words are given, words are printed over there. If there is sleep, then there is sleep and someone is lying on the bed and it is in deep sleep. Then build, how to build, then kick, to whom we kick, to football. Means meaningful pictures, meaningful words are given on these flashcards and flashcard may contain picture and a word. Very useful for reading and speaking practice as well as it helps to enrich the vocabulary. Means such actions are there. There are two meaningful pictures and just you may ask students who is strong between them, who is weak between them. Then what pilot does? Means there is a plane, there is man and here is pilot. And if the animals are there, different animals or there is a lion or there is tiger or wake up. When do we wake up? There is alarm clock, the boy is sleeping and the teacher she is holding a picture where in this picture the boy swim means as the teacher you may ask what does the boy do and students will answer the boys swim likewise after that these flashcards are really useful for reading and speaking if you want to develop your, if you want to develop the these reading and speaking skills of your students, so that you have to bring, you have to bring it in practice of these word card and sentence card. Okay, word card a book, pen a cat, and sentence card is this is dot dot dot. After the third one is that slide and film stick. Suppose at right side of of, uh, of this you may see there, is, there, is, there are different slides and there is particular slide where there is light and it is surrounded by different mountains and somewhere you may see the snow, then ice, somewhere, somewhere you see the greenery here and there is a reflection of the sky into the light and if your topic is based on nature then you have to show them different slides okay and so simple technique just you have to have the slides you have to prepare the slides and have the slideshow. With the help of this slideshow, you can teach your content effectively, effectively to your students. And slides can be shown one after another. Means, for particular, just right now I am using this slide and I am explaining each slide for two or three minutes or more than four minutes so that teacher can make good use of such slides in the class. After that, teacher may show them any film strip okay means film strip in this film strip different pictures are there their are moving pictures are there in a minute you can see a particular event okay and in film strip there are there are the materials which are serialized and pictorial in nature so that such streams film streams should be used by the student teacher or teachers in teaching of English language. The H1, the Bidascope. Okay, this is an instrument and this is an oldest one. Right now, what is the working nature of this Ibidaiscope. In this project with large images or objects by reflection on a screen or the wall. Means here is a glass. Okay. Here is a glass where 
particular picture is kept over there and can be shown directly on the wall and you may use such type of Wikipedia scope in teaching of composition what happens in composition particular words are given there sentences sentences are there you have to display in the class and students will write themselves some grammatical structures or word structures will be there then you can narrate any story you can divide the lesson and if you are the teacher of english language you may project some maps then charts then figures for learning of english language because learning happens or uh, there is learning 80 83% through sight only and this is visual aid it is ninth number that is blackboard okay Tradi traditionally we have study or we have have seen this type of blackboard that is this is always a symbol of the classroom okay and it is easily available for teaching okay whatever the teacher teaches in the classes whatever he writes on the such blackboard there is reflection of the content he delivers in the classrooms or this is the the writing of teacher is the reflection of his personality on the blackboard right now in these days green board is also used then white boards white boards are also used means these are the different three different types of boards and why should we use such type of blackboards in the class while uh, teaching of english language because if you want to improve if you want to improve the handwriting of your students then you may use blackboards in the class or you may ask your student to make good use of such blackboards for writing of uh, writing of english and it is used for development of pronunciation different homonyms are there different words are written on the blackboard and students are asked to read out particular word which is written on the blackboard means if particular teacher keeps himself busy in writing on different sentences and words on the blackboard then there is great chance of learning of pronunciation then he can write on the blackboard words phrases and structural items if he teaches grammar in the classes then student can definitely learn all the structures of english language all the grammatical operations then teacher may or he can draw figures sketches and match these figures to clarify the ideas means it's the skill of every teacher how he makes good use of figures sketches on these different uh, blackboards okay so that the, although it is oldest head but it is symbol of classroom and right now in present situation it has been used by the teachers okay we are about to see the third type of audio visual aids that is audio visual aids in this one the let's focus on lcd projector you might have seen such type of instrument in your classroom okay in your seminar room on your computer lab in this one so certain display is over there and this is already fitted at the roof of your class and it is also fitted at the ceiling then this is of Epson company and it is set over here you may see such type of set why should we use lcd projector in the class as a language teacher to give them direct lively experience of language learning we can make good use of such type of lcd projector and student can develop themselves they can increase their 
Embrace the vocabulary, embrace the learning of sentences, words, and there is direct appeal to all sensory organs of the learner or the students. Then it is also used for getting or capturing the attention of students because in traditional teaching and learning just teacher holds book in his hand and he narrates or he explains or he demonstrates but when he use such type of LCD projector then there is direct learning or there is lively learning experience can be taken by the students themselves so that it can be used by any teacher or it can be used for different classes LCD, LCD projector is a means of audiovisual aid second one is film you may you might have seen such type of films why should we teach films or why should we use this type of audiovisual aids in the classes because by using such type of films this directly appeal to our eyes ears and our emotions and if you want to spend your valuable time for learning particular content then such type of films must be used in the classes suppose there are many historical films then bravery films such, such films are motivating and some inspiring films and such knowledgeable films are there okay means as a teacher and if you are there and if there is special child and if he is not interested in learning or traditional learning but if he is interested in painting then we should not uh, we should not forget such type of student we have to pay to uh, pay attention towards us uh, towards student so that we should show the film tarat zamipa it is film based on a child specialized child and the message from this film is every child is special as parents we should not uh, leave far from such type of actual problems we have to understand and we have to uh, we have to learn from buying by watching such films and <coughs> and there is knowledgeable film so the film film which focuses on bravery then border movies in this movie the war takes place between two countries india and neighboring country but by watching these films student can inculcate the value of patriotism okay then value of national integration and these films can develop the growth or it can grow the ability of understanding it helps student in comprehension of language material it means various types of uh, language sentences are used the forms of language is used and so that for better learning okay for better learning we need to carry we need to show such films in the classes and after that all the films are meaningful which directly gives knowledge about how to live life life is so meaningful the custom of particular society custom of particular uh, region then culture of different countries culture of different state wildlife lives of great people means all the films are there and these films are all the already uh, available in the market and you may see um, it on youtube youtube or online mode and different films are there and films are really making your students more aware about the life
Third one is virtual classroom. Right now, the virtual classroom is it is totally based on the technology. It is surrounded by the technology. It includes all types of teaching aids, teachers. If actually, if the actual teachers are available, they can, but they can be available on online mode, so that they will teach with the help of their cameras, then computer, then internet, then online conferences are there, waves are there, blogs are there, wikis are there, internet forums are there, news groups are there, means there is no need to have the teachers in the classes. If the, in the virtual cl classroom, if you have the internet facility, if you have uh, computers, and if you have all these audiovisual aids, then you can teach or you can learn anything, anything from any corner of the world. And so that e library students can under, understand very well. Means whatever content is out there, with the help of e library, that is electronic library, many students can read out all the material, all related content with the help of such type of electronic libraries and material is available on the websites and this one everyone is known to this television although it is expensive but uh, it helps to visualize the pictures and right now many channels are there okay you say that in say to present educational programs through the television and many lectures of experts they are also telecasted lively to delhi to mumbai or from mumbai or from various part of the country or from the every corner of the world and it presents cultural program means we may come to know that what are the national festivals, what are the different cultures, then traditions, then wildlife, then people and their living style so that we can get the news, that is news, news itself is the information from north, east, west and south so that we call it news and many new channels are available and so that with the help of this television we can be a good listener, we can be an active learner by using television in the classes or outside the classes or at your home you may be aware about the world. And fifth one is that multimedia channel. In this multimedia media channel the student can develop their extra knowledge and so that Apart from content knowledge, so a teacher has to give them more or extra information about various channels. Uh, you may have the idea about EduSat. Education satellite is over there and through this satellite, many educational programs are directly telecasted and students can learn such educational programs by watching such type of channels and it also helps to develop the student's personality. Okay, means many channels are there and in India with the help of ISRO they have launched various educational satellites for the sake of uh, teaching and learning purposes and for the betterment of people of the Indian society. And the last is one, the important audiovisual aids Without this, we cannot do anything. The main base of all teaching aids, uh, it can help for all type of educational operations and you, we may create project work, library, internet forum, blog, web, mailing on internet. So that computers are so important audiovisual aids uh, in learning of English language. Okay, dear student, means if you want to learn or if you want to make good use of these audiovisual aids, 
then definitely uh, this lecture will help you. Thank you very much, dear students. Have a nice.